Hi, today we're going to go over some exciting new additions to the Axiom Electronics lineup. As many of you remember, about two years ago we launched a very successful series of amplifiers that are configurable in from two to eight different channels. And we've had a lot of requests from customers who are moving back to stereo setups, um, partially I think because when we introduced the LFR 1100, many people started to uh, go back to listening to recordings in stereo and really enjoying those setups. So we've had requests for some other products and one of the requests that we've had is, is a pre-amplifier. Now before I go into the different versions of some of these new pieces of electronics, the first thing I want to talk about is a uh, new customizable faceplate that we're going to be going to for all of the new electronics and the existing amplifiers and DSP systems for our LFR speakers. So you'll be able to get these fronts in a brushed aluminum look very similar to what we've been uh, shipping the products in that sort of finish up until now. But the exciting part is that if you want to customize your electronics to match your speakers, whether it's a stock vinyl, a stock veneer finish, or even a custom match finish, we can now offer that. Here I've got a couple of uh, prototype preamplifiers that are using our Boston Cherry finish on the face plates. Now we're still playing around with the design. Like I said, this is a little bit of a sneak peek into what we've been working on, but it gives you a sort of overall taste of what this is going to look like. Now on to the preamps. We're going to offer two different dedicated stereo preamplifiers. They're going to be standalone units and available as an integrated amplifier. So for the standalone units, they, the preamps will come in our slimmer 2U, we call it, chassis, the same size as our current LFR DSP chassis. The entry level version has three inputs, RCA in and outs only, and the step up version has five inputs, two of which are, are balanced, and it also has dedicated true balanced outputs on it. So if you run balanced components in your system, or particularly if you're going to use it with a, an ADA-1250 or an ADA-1500 amp, it's, a, it's an excellent way the, to utilize the XLR inputs on those amplifiers. Now, as options for those two standalone preamplifiers, we're going to be launching some modules as we, as we go along in the future, one of which is our exciting new Axiom Play wireless module, which will allow streaming capability built into the preamplifier. We're also looking at introducing a phono preamp module. It's likely going to be both moving coil and moving magnet selectable with selectable loading. And we're also also looking at the addition of a USB DAC so that you can take a USB device like a laptop computer or certain tablets and smartphones and plug them directly into the preamplifier and digitally uh, play back the, uh, the audio files from those devices. Now um, I mentioned integrated amplifiers. Both of those standalone preamps are available in full integrated amp versions as well. So you'll get the same features as the two preamps that I just described, but with the addition of a two-channel ADA-1000, which is 125 watts times two into eight ohms, built in all into the same chassis. That has to go in our larger chassis, which is the one that you see here. So if you wanted to build a very simple two-channel system around say a turntable or even something that you're just going to uh, you plug your tablet or smartphone in that unit with a pair of speakers is is a complete system now with the addition of your source component one other thing that we're going to be offering uh, both as a preamp and an integrated amp is what we call uh, a zone pre or a zone integrated amp. And by zone, all we mean is that it's configurable from anywhere from four to eight channels in even channel numbers. So you can get it in four, six, or eight channels. And as a standalone preamp, it will allow you to select and channel signals to different amplifiers, say for whole home audio. You have the ability 
with the three inputs to transfer those three main inputs to all of the four, six, or eight output channels, but you also have the ability to have a separate input for the, the four, six, and eight uh, external channels that are not slaved now to that main channel. So what that means is that if you wanted to have different devices playing on different systems in your house, you could do that, but at some point if you wanted to play the same music throughout your house, you flip a switch and now you're playing everything from that single source to all of the up to eight amplifier channels. So it's something that we've had actually quite a bit of call for and uh, it's, it's going to be very exciting to have this product line coming out. So I thank you for watching this video and uh, look forward for new developments on this front. Thank you.